All right, um, I'm going to talk about some transistors today. In particular, these uh, bipolar transistors, uh, NPN types and PNP types. So you draw them with little arrows, and uh, if the little arrow is going out, then it's an NPN. If the little arrow is going in, then it's a PNP. We call this the base. We call this the base. The one with the arrow is the emitter. The one without the uh, without the arrow is the collector. Okay, so that's how you remember that. Okay, so emitter, base, collector, emitter, base, collector. It's, emitter is always the one with the arrow. All right, and we have two transistors, and we want to know if they're an NPN type or a PNP type. And we could get out a magnifying glass, and we could read the part number. Then we could go to the internet and we can get a data sheet for the part number if we can find it. Um, maybe we don't know, maybe not all the numbers are in there. Maybe it's a weird three digit code. We don't even know what those are. And we want to figure out which one of these is the NPN and which one of these is the PNP. So let's take a look at them. Let's, let's look at them side by side. Well, they look identical. <laughs> There's the little black things. One side's flat, one side's round. They, they're, they're, they look totally identical. There's no way to tell from the outside which is which, okay? All right, so let's talk about why do they call it NPN and why do they call it PNP, all right? And that's because these are made, these are like Oreo cookies, okay? And so we have an Oreo cookie and we have the outside and then we have the filling. So we have, the, we have the filling in the middle. So we got this cookie. And the outside, we can make out of different types of material. Okay. We can make the outsides out of N cookie. Or we can make the outsides out of P cookie. Okay. And we can make the insides different. Okay, so that's the way transistors are made. In fact, the very, very first ones, if you go look at, uh, on uh, Google or whatever, look at the very, very first ones out of Bell Labs. They're actually like sandwiches that actually look like little cookies. Anyway, and then the wires are, the wires actually come off of these things, okay? So NPN, PNP. Now, why is it called N? Why is it called P? What are those things? Well, it's called, uh, it's held N and P because it is a particular type of semiconductor and N means it's negatively charged and P means it's positively charged. Now the purists will say, no, it's not positively charged. It has a, a, a de deficit of, of, of electrons. So it's, it, it's less negative, which makes it positive, but don't, don't believe those guys. <laughs> It's, it's negative, positive, negative, okay? Just remember that. Negative, positive, negative. Okay, so what if you made a cookie like this? What if you took your Oreo and you screwed off one, one side, okay? And now one of the cookies is gone and you only have, you only have a, uh, an N type here and a P type here, okay? All right, so what's that, all right? Well, that's a diode. Okay, well, that looks like, that looks like this. That's a diode, okay? So an, an Oreo where you've screwed off part of it, that turns it into a diode. And um, we know how to measure diodes, okay? We can get out our uh, multimeter because everybody's got a multimeter these days. All right. And we can turn it on and there is a diode function. So you'll kind of look around the dial here and you say, oh, there's a little diode symbol and it's yellow. That means we have to put the, push the yellow button and then we get that one, that's not right. And we get that, there we go, there's a little diode symbol. Okay, so now it's ready to measure diodes, all right? So if we have a real diode, let's see here, do I have a real diode somewhere? Yeah, I do have a real diode right here. Let me grab it off my bench. All right, here's a real diode. Okay, so that's like this, Oreo cookie that we've taken half of it off. Okay, so we're going to put uh, 
the positive here and we're going to put the negative here and we're going to go over and look at our look at our meter and oops nothing happens well we need to make sure that we're in the right way we need to put the positive we need to put the red the wire our, our plus input we need to put that on the positive side and so we need to put that over here and put this over here and then it starts to work so we have 0.6 volts of diode okay so if you didn't have any markings on this diode and you needed to figure out which way the arrow pointed you'd have to test it you'd say okay well uh, in this direction there's nothing and in this direction there's something so that means that this is the P material the P materials on this side and the N materials over that way all right so let's do it with the transistors okay so we don't know what is what so we're just gonna have to guess okay so we'll just we'll just we'll just start putting things on right so we'll just start at one end we'll just we'll just doesn't matter what it is we'll put the plus one there and we'll go here and nothing happens and then we'll go over here and nothing happens okay and then uh, we'll go to the next one um, and we'll go over here and oh wait a minute something happened 0.7 volts that's good that's a diode okay so let's go ahead and write that down okay so we have this thing a little piece of plastic we have three legs on it okay and right now we've shown that between these two we have a diode like that okay and then if I move the negative one over to this side it's 0.7 as well so we also have a diode that goes in that direction okay so does that show up on camera? I guess I can zoom back in since we're drawing here. All right, so we've tested it and we know that the thing looks something like this. There's two diodes and the center is the P and the two ends are ends. So guess what? That transistor is an NPN. Okay, we just tested it. And let's double check because <laughs> I think these are marked. So let's read it and it says this transistor is a 2N3904, okay? And then we could get a data sheet and we could confirm that, yeah, that's, a, that's an NPN transistor. All right, so let's do the same for the other transistor. We don't know what it is. Maybe it's another NPN. Uh, let's see, grab this one. And we'll do the same thing. We'll just start at one end. Doesn't matter which end we start with. I'll start over here, go here. Oh, look at that. Oh, we guessed right. 0.7. So it's 0.7 that way. Okay, what if we go over here? Uh, nothing over there. Nothing happened that way. So I'll go back to the middle again. That one works. So let me swap this one around over here. Oh, there we go. Another, another one. So if the middle, so let's draw this one. I'll draw it over here. Okay, the middle this time, I have uh, a P material on the outside and a P material on the outside and N material on the inside. I, I just measure that, okay? So we have now, we have a P, N, P, okay? So positive, negative, positive, positive, negative, positive. So there you go. So that's a really, really quick way to figure out what type of, uh, what type of transistor you have. It's also a really, really good way of testing whether a transistor is good or bad. Sometimes you can actually do this while it's in the circuit. It doesn't always work. It depends on what else is in the circuit, but a lot of times you can reach in there and you can, you can check to see if uh, the transistor is acting correctly or not. Or sometimes you have to desolder it and then you can do this trick. You can measure the, uh, the NPN and see if it uh, see if it's what you want so um, a lot of times you don't know you know it might be a strange chinese part number or something you don't really aren't aware of and it's a good way to check to see if you have positive uh, a pnp type or an npn pipe okay so that's probably you already have a voltmeter okay there's another way to do it okay i'll show you that other way and uh, i highly encourage you get one of these things i love these things uh, I've had lots and lots of them <laughs> and I've broken lots and lots of them. This one seems to have stayed the longest. Uh, so it's a cool little tester. 
and it has a little uh, a zero insertion force socket. So you take your little LED and you shove it into here to pins one, two, three. It doesn't matter what order you put it into there. You just jam it in there. And then you push the go button and it says, oh, you've got a PNP. And the pinout is one, two, three, emitter base collector. And uh, yeah, there's the gain. The HFE is 326 and the forward voltage is 0.66. Hey, we just measured that one, 0.66. Uh, so that's, that, that, this is an easy way to do it. So that one tests as a PNP. And this one tests as an NPN. I know I use this thing like at least once a week. There we go, NPN. HFE is a little lower on this one, only 439, but the, uh, the uh, forward voltage, uh, the VF is about the same, 0.66. Mm -hmm. There you go. How to test transistors and figure out what, what it is. And uh, now everybody's got to go run out, buy some Oreos because they're hungry. <laughs>